Did you like it though? Did you double tap? Might be too strung out on compliments Overdosed on confidence Started not to give a f*** and stop fearing the consequence Drinking every night because we drink to my accomplishments Faded way too long, I'm floating in and out of consciousness And they saying I'm back, I'd agree with that I just take my time with all this sh- I still believe in that I had someone tell me I fell off, ooh I needed that And they wanna see me pick back up, well where'd I leave it at? I know I exaggerated things, now I got it like that Tuck my napkin in my shirt cause I'm just mobbing like that You know good and well that you don't want a problem like that You gon' make someone around me catch your body like that No, don't do it, please don't do it Cause one of us goes in and we all go through it And Drizzy got the money, so Drizzy <sighs> What's good? Brothers, I ain't even What's good, you two? And this is another Triple FL special. And let's get right to it. All right. Last week matchup was Dante's Inferno versus Donna Man Down. And, of course, I got the win. You know, 116 to 105. And I was led with 19 points from Higgins, 18 from Mahomes, and 17 from Taylor and Madison. I appreciate you, um, Craig. I needed that win, man. I needed that. My team is struggling lately, and I need all I can get, man. My team is struggling from bad quarterback play, goddammit. Next matchup, we have El Ganador versus Purple Pride. And winner gets to win 170 to 75. Woo! Carolyn, you just blew me out last week and you got blew out this week. Good God. Winner was led with 28 points from Schultz, 25 from Cleveland defense. That, that's what I need. Winner, winner. You need to make a deal, man. Let me get that Cleveland defense out to you. I'm gonna get that Cleveland defense out you. I know I already know this dude probably gonna charge me an arm and leg for a defense, but let me get that. And he got 22 from Stevenson. But let's only give him three and six. Three and six, man. Like, right. I'm gonna have to check out your playoff eyes. I haven't checked it out yet, but by now it should have been in the beginning of the um video. But I'm sure that they are super low, if if any. Next matchup, we have Kane Windham all versus G-Man. And G-Man gets the win 127 to 83. That, that feels like a blowout, too. Feels like a blowout, too. And Ebony, after going 6-0, has three straight losses on a resume. You are going the wrong way. The wrong way. G-Man was led. With 27 from Hertz, 24 from IN, and 21 from Jacobs. G Man trying to get himself back in a playoff hunt. He working hard. Next matchup, we have Gerard's optimal team versus the Wild Cards. And Gerard loses by two points. I think that's the second time in a row, second week in a row, that he done lost by a little. So I don't like that omen because I played Gerard this week. And my men are on by. I don't like it. Ivan gets the win 140 to 138. Ivan was led with 46 from CJ Stroud. Game breaker! Take the lead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not helmets. Oh, it's not like horses. Oh, yeah, horses. My bad. Stroud. Makes the connection with Brown. Stroud like the sideline. Does he have the angle? He does. Touchdown. Seventy-five yards. Devin White. Got some of the business at the end of the play. Stroud. To the end zone. Touchdown. Tank Dell. Perfect 
Beautifully thrown by C.J. Stroud, right in the bucket. And it's Stroud. Throws. End zone. Touchdown. It's Dalton Schultz. And Stroud with another BB. 29 from C.J. Lamb and 20 from the Las Vegas defense. Man. For the Las Vegas defense to score 20 points, that shows you how trash the Giants' offense is. Trash. Next matchup, we have They Call Me Diddy versus the Mad King and Cat. Keeps it rolling 138-99, to getting the victory over Kendrick. And he was led with 22 from Ferguson, 22 from Diggs, and 14 from Garrett Wilson. And Cass says it feels good to be on the top after being on the bottom, having people doubt him because he lost the first two and now he's on a seven game winning streak. It's like the inverse of what happened with Ebony. It's the inverse because Ebony started off hot and, and he, she's cooled down and, you know, and, and, and Cass started cold and he's heated up. He, he heating up. What they say? How they say it on, on NBA Jam? He's heating up. Intercepted. Heating up. And for last week's matchup of the week, that did not seem like a matchup of the week. Dynamo FC versus Winter is coming, and Jay puts the beat down on Wayne. One fifty-six to ninety-six. I, Wayne, I put you in this match of the week because you know you really needed this win. And, and, and you let yourself down. You didn't let me down. You let yourself down. Fall into three and six, which is a pretty much a death sentence in this league. You lose six losses. That's a death sentence. You out of there. Jay was led with 24 points from Cooper. 23 from Komet and 18 from Derek Carr. And of course, this week's blowout of the week was given to Carolyn by winner. A 94 point difference. I mean, you know what that mean, Carolyn? That mean I can times your score times two and you would still lose. Jesus Christ. All right, let's look at the current standings. At number one, we got Cat seven and two. At number two, Jay six and three. At number three, Ivan six and three. At number four, Kink Windemall six and three. At number five, Your Fearless Commit six and three. Look, all those six and three teams is so close. At number six, Kendrick five and four. And as you know, the top six teams make the playoffs. And when we get to the bottom of the standings, we have Gerard at number 12, as usual. At number 11, Craig, who is trying to hold off Gerard from overtaking him. And number 10, Wayne, whose team has failed them to show up at a key moment in time where he really needed them. So, Hey, it's only, it's not that, hey, not that many weeks left. Not that many weeks left. What is this? 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so five weeks, five weeks to determine and see what it is. Currently, this is how the playoff picture would look. They call me Giddy, would get a, would get a bye. It'll be can't win them all versus, of course. Of course versus me. We had to meet in the playoffs last year. The Wildcats versus the Mad King and Winter is coming. We we'll get the bye. So we have three content creators in the league and all three would be in the playoffs if this was the playoffs. All right, let's look at Week 10's matchup. And first we have Dante's Inferno versus Gerard's team. And I'm not feeling confident with my players on by. 
and Yahoo has rejected me to lose by five. Huh, feel some type of way. Next, we have Al Ganador versus Donna Man Down. Oh, that's gonna be a good matchup. I like that. But Yahoo is rejecting Craig to win by 15. Get him, Craig. Next matchup, we have Dynamo FC versus G Man. And G Man is projected to win by 14. Next matchup, we have Purple Pride versus the Mad King. And Karen is projected to get another blowout. <laughs> Kendrick is projected to win by 23. Next matchup, we have Kate win them all versus they call me Diddy. Man, it, it felt like they just played. It felt like they just played, I swear. But um, you got the first place team who's on a hot streak against the former first place team who's on a losing streak. And Cat is projected to win, to win by 17. And for our match of the week, we have Winter is Coming versus the Wild Cards. And Ivan, this is the two seed versus the three seed, both six and three. Somebody may take a tumble in the standings with an L heel, so it's definitely going down. And Yahoo is projecting L win the win by three, so it's going to be a close matchup. Jay has got Kyler Murray back and has already threw him in the lineup. Man, that's it's kind of early, huh? I mean, you don't want to you don't want to wait and see, you know, let him rust, knock the rust off. Just throwing them out there. I, I see you, homie. And you got three quarterbacks on your team, and you already throwing them out there. You a wild boy. Ivan still has a person in his lineup on by, so he's going to be even projected for more points. So should be an interesting matchup. If I was you, Jay, I would put Carr in against Minnesota rather than Murray against Atlanta, but who knows, Murray might come in and smash, smash, since he had, I guess you feel like he had all this rest, but it might be rust, so we'll, we'll see. Murray might come up and put up 40 and be next week's game breaker. We'll see, but, but it's another week of football, and that's what we want. We want real football, we want fantasy football, all of the above. So I'm gonna wish everybody good luck. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody except you, Gerard. Everybody except you. You set all your players. Let me get a win. I don't want you to win. <laughs>